hey you guys take three of your favorite little keto goofball diamond <laughs> today marks five years 112 days of my ketogenic journey of overall improving my life in every way shape and form that i possibly can the house is a mess haven't been home much just got home it's late i gotta get up early in the morning and here i am like last night i'm like i've got to start doing my videos early in the day because when I wait really late in the day, like right now, the only thing I want to say over and over again is, I'm so tired. <laughs> and that's, like, not what I want to present all the time, you know? And, and yes, I am tired. It's late in the day. It's been a long, hard week. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. <laughs> so, it, it's been a week. Um, but we had my mother-in-law's wake last night. And the funeral today. It's a long trip up there. So, I mean, it's not as long as some of our trips, of course. But it's when you have to go back and forth every day, it, it gets a little tiring and a little taxing. We've been up there four times this week. So, it's just, it's been a long week. Um, I'm hoping for an uneventful work weekend. You know, just where I can work three days and come the hell home. And... <laughs> And, and sit on my ass and sleep and, and do it again. So I'm, I'm hoping for uneventfulness um, over the next three days. <laughs> Cross my fingers. This one I can't make do. Um, but anyway, uh, it was a beautiful ceremony. It really, really was. Um, probably the nicest one I've been to as far as just the words that were said and stuff like that. And it was, it was just, it was very nice. Um, it was something interesting during, I've never seen them do this before, but then again, you know, I've been to four or five funerals and usually I don't, I'm not presented front and center in general. Uh, so it was kind of, they, they took roses off the casket and handed them to the ladies. I was like, thank you. I didn't know y'all did that. It's pretty. Didn't know we did that, but <laughs> so I mean, you know, I was kind of shocked by it, but it was still sweet and it was nice and. I mean, what else are you going to do other than put them in the dirt? So, you know. I'm actually surprised the ground's not growing rose bushes all over cemeteries. Just, you know, considering how many are... Just a thought that popped in my mind. Because I know sometimes you can grow roses from stems. Sometimes. Right situations and all. Looks like one of them will just spring up there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um... After that, went over to my father-in-law's house, uh, talked to him and stuff for a lo long time. And later in this, this evening, me, my husband, my brother-in-law, and my sister-in-law went to dinner together. That's a whole ball of wax. I feel fat. Y'all know how that works. And the thing is, they're both keto or carnivore health people, too. Um, this is the brother-in-law that got me started on keto by saying, hey, go look at keto. And I looked, and I was like, yeah, that sounds right. So I started doing it. Um, same day, too. All of it happened same day. So, he's why you guys have me <laughs> in this particular capacity anyway. Um, probably pretty much why I'm alive, to be honest, because I wouldn't have been. Um, or at least I very much don't think I would have been. So, see, there it goes. I wanted to go, I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> but late in the evening, that's kind of all I want to say. And I was thinking, you know, I think... One of the reasons my blood pressure is so high all the time, I think that I consistently, for 20-some years, kept my body in kind of a stress state. I'm in a hurry, even when I don't need to be in a hurry. I'm sitting down on the couch thinking, I need to go get up and do stuff. I don't need to sit here all day. There's stuff I need to be doing. So, it's, it's like, I never really allow myself to chill, even when I'm trying to allow myself to chill. You know, when we go on vacation, I want to do all day, the whole time. There, there's no chilling in that room. There's no sitting there relaxing, doing nothing. The only time I ever chill is in the bathtub. And then I'm like, I need to get out of here and do stuff. Um, so, <laughs> and not a lot gets done. It's, it's, it's this weird, ironic thing where I'm constantly doing stuff, but I can't tell it. <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of some stuff. I've I've gotten some pocketbooks up that, that I'm giving to a friend tomorrow. Uh, hubby got rid of his old PS4 to his brother. So, you know, there, there's some things that we, we're getting rid of now. Plus, with that help of that Yucca app, I've thrown away a lot of products that, like, we had sitting on the shelf for use later if we needed it. 
like shampoos and stuff that probably realistically realistically we weren't going to use but i scanned them with that app and they all say bad i was like well then let me throw that away because now i'm never going to use it um so it helped me clean out some stuff there's a ton of stuff in here i gotta get rid of you see the dog food over here i've got to get that they got some right now but i've got to get it in their big thing so they'll have it all weekend uh and all week but uh keto was yesterday i was perfectly keto i know i went down the thing is i don't know how much because the last few days, I really haven't had time to wait. There's been so much stuff that had to get done. And I just didn't have time to, like, wait, to record and all that. I mean, I've been getting up, having to get everything done and ready. And and head out for a, a long drive. And last night, we, we didn't get back till pretty super late. And I was just like, no. And I, that was when I kind of realized that I'm constantly in this state, this state of stress. Because I got home, like, I've got to do a video. I've got to do, I mean, it was kind of like manic in a way. And I was thinking, you know what? No, I don't have to do anything. It's my channel. I don't have to do anything. It's late. I'm tired. Most of them will understand. So, I don't have to do that. And I started thinking about it. It's like, you know, I put so much stress on myself for various reasons. Not Mostly not the channel. But just in general. I can be sitting down trying to watch something. I'll watch five minutes of it. Jump up and start doing dishes, a, a laundry, something. Something that always feels like it needs to be done right now and it can't wait. And the truth of the matter is, is most of it can wait. <laughs> most of it's not that big, big of a deal. I might have half a sink full of dishes, but I can wash them when there's a whole sink full. You know, I mean, it's just me and hubby now. I don't have to wash laundry the way I do it. Sometimes... I will put two things in the washing machine just so I don't have any dirty clothes. And that's kind of silly and unnecessary. So I just, I've got to figure out a way to actually get my body out of that continuous stress state. Now, I'm not saying that's my blood pressure cause because God knows there's a million other things it could be that I've checked for. And honestly, after all the blood work, all the scans, all this, that, and the other, we have no idea why it's high. So that could just be a contributing factor or it could be a big factor. I don't know, but I am constantly in this stress state. It's the only way I can put it, even when I don't have to be. Like if I go outside and like I'm walking barefoot in the yard, I'm thinking about all the stuff I need to get done. So I won't even do that for very long because I have to come in here and have to do stuff. But I don't. Or then I'm like, well, I need to clean out the cars. But I can take my shoes off and ground while I'm cleaning out the cars. So like, don't <laughs> I mean, that's that's what gets me is in my mind I absolutely know I don't have to do anything but my brain is telling me yeah you do get it done get it done get it done so I'm trying to figure out how I come out of this stress state because I know that I've been in it and sometimes it gets a little bit manic especially when things pile up on top of me that aren't normal things like you know with, with the passing and with um being out of work and, and having some financial stress for a few minutes and, and it'll pass it, it'll pass quickly so don't get me wrong and I know that a lot of people are having it far worse than I am but I think just the fact that I keep my body kind of like in this I've got to do something state I'm not getting anything done worrying about it ain't helping me none and in and, and, and ways I don't worry about it because I know I can't do nothing about it so why do I let it bother me? <laughs> How do I come down from that rush cloud, you know, where I'm zooming around doing stuff? I really don't have to. If, if on Monday morning I want to sit here and watch that TV from sun up to sundown, I can do that. I also, think, I also think that's one of my biggest problems with sleep. I'm kind of scared to sleep because I know there's things I need to be doing or I feel like there are things I need to be doing. They can't wait. So, why? do you guys find yourself in these rush panic states even when there's no reason to be in a hurry? Something touched me. Don't know what it was. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I'll get up in the morning and I'll, I'll just like be slapping on makeup and like, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. I'm like, why am I hurrying? I don't have to do anything except for, you know, work that I have to do. But I usually wake up about an hour before I have to leave. I've got plenty of time. My clothes and everything's where I know where they're going to be. i got to pretty much just start the coffee pot, get on the scale, throw some makeup on and some clothes on, 
and I'm done. It doesn't. It usually doesn't take an hour. I'm usually sitting here for 10, 15 minutes, so I don't have to rush, but I feel rushed, you know? And, and even then, we leave an hour early for work. It takes about 20 minutes to get there. We want to make sure, you know, we we're there on time. If there's any kind of problems with the car, if there's any kind of tire issues, then we're still not going to be late, most likely. So, you know, we just, it's, it's a caution thing. And hubby's always done it. It's, it's always better to be early than late when it comes to work and stuff like that. So, I mean, if even if it takes me an extra 5, 10 minutes to put my shoes on. So... I'm not going to be late, <laughs> you know, um, so I just, I want to figure out my son's chilled state, uh, I'll get there, <laughs> he slowly puts on his shoes, slowly, slowly, I guess we can go now, hmm, don't care, <laughs> I need that half of the time at least, and then, some get stuff done the other half of the time. But I feel like I'm in this. And I've felt like that for a very, very long time. I don't know exactly how long I felt like that. But I do know that I, sometimes I'll even catch myself. I'm like rushing through a store. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Getting everything I need. Like I've got 15 minutes left on this earth. When I have all day. And I'm not in a rush. I don't have to do any damn thing. When I leave that Walmart or whatever what grocery store I'm going to. Literally, the only thing I have to do is go home, put away groceries, and maybe make something to eat. It's, it's not a rush on those days, you know? How do you guys stop zooming and just relax a little bit? I need some tips because, you know, I've tried the whole meditation thing. And I'll do that two or three days in a row. And then something will take over and I'll just be like, I'm busy right now. I'll do it later. I'm busy right now. I'll do it later. So it's basically putting me back in that manic rush state when I don't have to be. Yeah. I don't got to do nothing. <laughs> so for, you know, pay my bills. Y'all you, you know the standard workup of what we have to do. But most of the stuff I do, I don't got to do. And I don't have to rush myself or feel like I'm rushed. There is a fly bee or something in here and it's irritating me. Might just be a damn thing, but I don't know. All right, so anyway, I do need to rush and get in the shower and get in bed because I don't know what time it is, but it's getting later. I do know that. And I have to be up at 5 a.m. So, keto-wise, for the most part this week, I have been 99% keto. Uh, there was one day we went to Whataburger, had a burger, whole ass burger with the bun and some french fries. And that was several days ago. I'm going to show you this morning's weigh-in because I did weigh-in this morning. Um, not much has changed. Today, I was, I actually fasted all day, and when they said, hey, let's go get Mexican, I was like, okay, let's do that, and I broke my fast with Mexican food. Late in the day, like, I think it was like 6 o'clock at night, which was kind of stupid, but also at the same time, it's a family thing, and that's what we decided on, and those, those two are mostly carnivore, so, <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't do too good today, but it's all right, it's it's just a day, and it was an O-man. I ain't got time to eat nothing else, so I'm going to go to bed. And I'm not hungry right now because I stuffed myself there. But uh, it, it both does not bother me and slightly disappoints me when I do stuff like that because I could have gotten something that was keto. They do have some keto stuff there. But I chose not to, and everybody chose not to. So it was just, just one of those things. But let me go ahead and show you today's weigh-in. Of course, hopefully tomorrow night, if I have a little time and try not to stress myself, I will probably do a short video with weigh-ins in it because I don't have to make them long on the weekends, <laughs> you know? Might even be able to just do a clip or two while I'm at work or something. Well, not at work, but like on breaks and stuff out in the parking lot. So, you know, might help me just kind of pop in a couple clips there, here and there, if I've got something to say, if I want to think about it or something. So, all right, you guys, here's the weigh-in. I think I went down from the last time I actually had a weigh-in. And hoping for a normal, everyday, average kind of weekend. That goes quickly because I'm at work and I don't want it to take long. But just a normal, regular one would be nice. Anyway, guys, there are ways to support the channel in the description below. There are some pretty cool links down there if you want to get some stuff that you don't need. But might find helpful on keto. 
like a keto mojo. Those are nice to have. Uh, especially if Christmas is coming up. You know, the keto mojo is a helpful tool. Anyway, you guys, much love, many prayers. Here's those weigh-ins. Good night. Sunday night after work, steak, and I guess rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, okay. 166.8. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, so I am breaking my fast at 2 p.m. with a side salad ranch, steak, collard greens, and ice water. That was fantastic. <laughs> but you guys, uh, two pieces of ham, piece of cheese, mayonnaise, two zero net carb uh, mission wraps. Honestly, I don't know that these are all that keto friendly, but this is what I got. This is what I'm going to eat. <laughs> Yes, I've got some of the zero net carb uh, tomato basil wraps for Mission. Two pieces of ham, two pieces of cheese, melted in the toaster oven. All right, breaking my fast at 1.30 p.m. Uh, eggs, cheese, sausage, and I put mayonnaise in mine. I forgot last night, the only thing you didn't see was a double Whopper with cheese, no bun. Thursday, 164.6.